Now, Super Mario World is one of my favorite uh, video games of all time. So this is just kind of fun for me. And I will come back to this another date and time and do a randomizer, like I did with Super Mario Bros. 3. I am not promising to beat this tonight, because I don't think this will ta only take me two hours. I do feel dirty. I'm playing this on a Xbox controller. On the levels look not bad. Beautiful. Awesome. And again, I thank everybody for tuning in here. I was a wee lad when this came out. I think this came out in America in 1990? 90 or 91, somewhere around there. remember getting a Super Nintendo, I believe, for my birthday or one of those holidays. I know I got an N64 for Christmas. I know I got the NES on my birthday, because my parents tried to troll me and give me just a controller. And this runs pretty well on the emulator. Not quite perfect. There are a couple of times here where I could feel the uh, frame rate go crazy, but that could also be the round. This is one of the first games I 100%ed as a child. Get out of my way. There we go! And outside of the special stages, I'm actually good at this game. I know I said that for Super Mario Bros. 3, but bear, bear, <laughs> give me a break. The randomizer made that a lot harder than it should have been. I'm looking forward to seeing what randomizer I can get my hands on for Super Mario World. And the effects I can get. Oops. And if you're unfamiliar with this game, I don't see how. But... This is the Yellow Switch Palace. There are four Switch Palaces in the game for yellow, green, red, and blue uh, blocks. Yellow give you mushrooms, green give you uh, the feather, and the red and the blue are simply just platforms. Any stage I go into where there would have been a yellow block outline, there will now be question blocks with mushrooms. And I think this is the stage where the game introduces us to Yoshi. See? With exclamation point, that would have been blank otherwise. Although I'm pretty sure most people watching this have probably played this. My favorite, well not favorite, but messed up part. He punches Yoshi in the head to make him eat. I feel like my running doesn't work right with this controller. I feel like my momentum isn't building up properly. Make me a liar, okay. Sometimes it's a cloud, I promise. My sister and I, when we were kids, used to call those guinea pigs. Ah, something to be a one-up.
Alright. Now, oddly enough, I didn't, don't necessarily agree with their decision, but I, I can understand the reason why. They didn't introduce the flying power up until the second world. But, you notice the levels really aren't designed around requiring it. And if you didn't pick up on it, red shells who spit fire. Wait, I wanna go down here. Uh, blue shells you can fly. No, he just has like a build up when he runs, it's weird. And uh, yellow shells, it, he pounds the ground but it looks like he's farting. Green shells give you nothing. Okay. Those give you one-ups if you meet certain criteria. I don't remember exactly what it is. Here we go! Blazing right through World 1. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I am likely going to go ahead and do, uh, until I get farther into the game, a, uh, a World Per Episode. Those of you watching this here on Twitch are going to get wherever I wind up. Whoa. Oh, is this controller do that thing where I can't do, like, jump forward, right? Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. I might have to switch out to my SNES-style controller. Anybody knows any good, uh, rather I should say they have possession of any good ROM hacks, and I don't mean, uh, Kaizo Mario, because, uh, nah. But just some fun, and, you know, they can be difficult or not, it doesn't really matter to me. That was accidental. Feel free to, uh, send those to me. Message me on Twitch, or... Yeah, I can't go right. Weird. I know there's some, uh, like, Super Mario 3, uh, mech remix. I do have Mario Maker on the Wii U, but I don't have a capture card, so, sorry. <laughs> Alright, for watching this on YouTube now, this might be a jump cut here. <laughs> Nothing happened. I didn't switch controllers out or anything. It caused the emulator to crash. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no Kaizo deliciousness. <laughs> Not today, anyways. I'm sure there's a night where the stream would love to watch me just swear up and down constantly. I don't know why he's a kid. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I'm going to get crushed to death. Yes! Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Yeah! Well, I'll take it. <laughs> all skill, not not at all luck. Yes, the fence thing was the coolest shit ever as a kid. Well, 
YouTube side, this is probably going to be it for the first episode. If you're wondering who I'm talking to while I'm streaming, come join me at twitch.tv slash jokeaboutjokeslam. And you can join the conversation as well. But here on Twitch, we're going to continue on to World 2. And on YouTube, stay tuned for the next episode. Where uh, we take on the Donut Plains. Donut Land, whatever the hell it's called. See ya.